Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. First of all, I want to say thanks to my lecture to give me opportunity to uh, presentation my topic today. To save a time, let's go to the topic. The topic today is implementation of new neural policies during the COVID-19 pandemic in Southeast Sulawesi, Indonesia. First is background. The new normal policy during the COVID-19 pandemic does require community involvement. Efforts to reduce the number of COVID-19 cases need the public to understand the knowledge, attitude, and behavior of COVID-19 prevention health protocols. In June 2020, the Indonesian government formulated a new normal policy or new habitat in response to the COVID-19 pandemic. This policy was implemented to prevent the adverse effect of the COVID-19 pandemic. The new order of normally requires people to continue their activities as usual but avoid the spread of COVID-19 by implementing hygiene procedures. It is uh, recommend, recommended to use a mask, wash hands, avoid cough etiquette, avoid contact with patient and keep a distance. Next is methods. First is study design. This research employed descriptive research with a cross-sectional design aim to access the knowledge, attitudes, and practice of the people in the prevention of COVID-19. This research was conduct conducted in Muna district from 9 to 30 June 2021. Uh, second is sample. The population in the study was the entire community in Mona district. The sample were taken randomly using a Google girl from Link distributed via WhatsApp to all people who meet the inclusion criteria, namely the community from Mona district. The sample size is uh, 410 people. Next is data analysis. In analyzing the data, the species version uh, 60.0 application was used to view descriptive statistics to see the level of knowledge, perception, and behavior related to COVID-19 prevention. Next is, and the last is ethical consideration. Uh, this study was ethical approved by the Health Research Ethics Commission Faculty of Medicine, Hello Oleon University, Kendari, Indonesia. Next is result. There we are uh, 110 respondents consisting of men is 37% and women uh, 63%. Almost half of the respondents are aged uh, 21 until 30 years is 68% uh, with the level of education in intermediate uh, 64% and in high 35%. COVID-19 is a uh, 54%. However, there we are respondents who answered undecided about the cause is a uh, 30% and transmission 20% of COVID-19. Almost all respondents answered yes that they know about prevention but using max is a uh, 81%. Washing hands is 84%. Six social distancing is 87% and cold etiquette is uh, 81%. Next is decision. Based on the research result, it was revealed that the people in Muna District had knowledge in a good category regarding the implementation of COVID-19 prevention. However, the implementation of COVID-19 prevention in the people of Muna District in terms of age has nothing to do with this. Considering the unicol ratio, ratio between, between the age of teenagers, adult, and the elder, elder, elderly, the respondents at symbolize the respondents' characteristic regarding the matur maturity of the person. It also indicates the level of knowledge or perspective of the respondent. It it is also said the age from a demographic variable, demographic variable that affect a person perception, perception and knowledge. Older people have sufficient experience to possibly know more.
In addition, in addition, considering that COVID-19 can befall anyone regardless of age, everyone needs to know how it was transmission and prevent 2019 coronavirus. Advance. In addition, the research results show the so that people in Muna district prefer news new source related to COVID-19 from trust search. This is because respondents can receive news about COVID-19 from various public instruments, especially when the public has easy access. However, the information is sometimes inaccurate and incomplete. In the context of social media, the emergence of hoax in public is influenced by many factors, including the public's habitat consistently wanting to quickly uh, share new share news quickly quickly share news rushing to share news such a telling stories about the information they receive without checking the truth first the information come or who was the first to make the news the last is conclusion based on the result of this research it can be con conclude the people of muna district have good knowledge, attitudes, and behavior about COVID-19. Therefore, this condition is a potential also to implement the new normal policy during the COVID-19 pandemic period. However, continued information and education is needed to increase knowledge, the compli compliance, change negative attitudes, and improve behavior. I think this enough for me. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.